All right, hello everyone. Um, I'm going to talk about dynamic derivations, what they are, why we have them, and uh, why you should care, and what you can do to help out. My name's uh, Tom Bereckney. You might know me as Tom Breck. I'm on marketing, steering, Nick's team, I work at Phlox, where I build things and break things, and do a bunch of other good stuff. Come talk to me. We'll talk about good stuff. Um, I will go through what the problem is, what, what it is, how you can help, do some demo, and then uh, some references and things. All right, so what's the problem? We want cool stuff. We want things like incremental builds. We want integration with native tooling. We want performance, right? Everyone wants performance. Anyone doesn't want it? No. User experience. These are things we want. OK, but uh, there are some issues. We can't sometimes get all of these sometimes with limited computation that we have. So what's the solution? All right, things called RFC 92. You can go look it up and read it, but basically two main points. Let's have computations able to produce computations, and let's use a placeholder to keep track of all this. Clear as mud? Probably not. I don't understand that either. But I like pictures. So normally what happens is uh, we're going to come up with a plan. A, B, then C. That seems like a good plan. I think we can all agree that's a great plan. And then we go actually the value, execute that plan, we build that plan. The plan looks like what we did. This is clean, it's simple, has all sorts of nice properties that we like. It's not quite as powerful as we want, so what do we do when we want that extra power? We call this thing Ember for derivation for various reasons, but it looks kind of like this. I want to do, we start planning, we go, I want to do A and B, but now I want to do some complicated planning. Let's go do that, do some computation, get some results, and then come back, and then keep planning. Then. My plan's done. I keep doing my building. You can see how it's a little more complex. We're switching between planning and building, and it starts getting a little bit, a little bit muddy. And this is the source of why we don't tr try to avoid this sort of thing in Nix packages and Hydra and other, other reasons. It's, doesn't, it's not quite clean enough. What else could we do? There's recursive Nix. OK, here the plan is very simple. Here's the plan, A, B, then C. So far, so good. But now we start moving over into the actual execution of that plan, and we realized that B was way more complicated than we had any idea it was going to be. We're going to now do a little bit of inception, and then call Nix inside of Nix. We might call it again and then again and again, and this has its own kind of consequences. If you know about like the movie Inception, it gets complicated. So this has its own issues. So this is where dynamic derivations come in. Uh, basically, let's plan something. We're going to do A, B, then C, but B is a little bit special. Something might happen here. We remember that, we put a placeholder in there, and then we start doing builds. We do A, then we do B, and then dynamically, right, dynamic derivations, we are going to do some computation. That comes back, we're going to do some more computation, we could proceed with the plan. But now look, it's symmetrical. The plan looks like what we did. Now we can analyze it, do it all in one stop, we could push the plan around and distribute it to different places. We don't have the kind of the problems we have with some of those other solutions. That's the big idea. You can do a little bit more complicated, where it's not just like one computation, but two or three or more, and that's potential for additional uh, power, additional features, and uh, this kind of fits into the framework. But we still have a plan and a build. Still have two separate phases. OK, um, implementation of this. It's complicated. It's taken a long time, and uh, we've put a lot of work into it. And by we, I mostly mean John Erickson. So give him a thank you. He's not here today. but. This is basically his show. <laughs> and uh, what's next? Um, we need the, these are primitives at the moment. Uh, so we need developer experience to be better. We need libraries to be created. We need limited access to the store so it's not too powerful to have uh, other problems, but like we need help. So come talk to me. Uh, we're gonna have a demo, but just trust me, it works. It really does. But uh, we don't have time for that. <laughs> and then uh, there's like all sorts of documentation you can read. I'll try to distribute this and talk to people about it. But uh, we need help. That's the call to action. Now you all know dynamic derivations in five minutes. Where's, how am I on time? <laughs> <laughs>